Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine some quartile ranges uh, using SPSS. Uh, this includes the interquartile range, the semi-interquartile range and the mid-quartile range. Um, unfortunately there are no easy ways of doing this or straightforward way, so we have to trick it a little bit and simply use actually SPSS as a calculator. Uh, in a separate video I show you how you can determine quartiles if you have some data which isn't actually too complicated by using analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies and then select the variable you want and after that make sure you select the quartiles. Then create a new data file where you simply have two variables for the first quartile and the third. So let's say the first quartile was uh, 4 uh, and the second, uh, sorry, the third quartile was uh, 8.3, uh, something like that. Then the inner quartile range can actually now be calculated by using the transform compute variable, and that's called this IQR, and it's simply the third quartile minus and then the first quartile. Click on OK, and it should give you the inner quartile range. Um, Sometimes this is referred to as the H spread, but that depends on if you're actually using uh, two case hinges, for example. Um, the semi interquartile range is simply the, uh, actually this one divided by two. So it's that same range, uh, but then divided by two. So we can simply do transform compute variable again. And then instead of saying IQR, it's going to be semi interquartile range. Uh, it's the same expression but then with some brackets around it, and then divided by 2. And that gives you the so-called semi-interquartile range, which is also sometimes uh, known as the quartile deviation. Last but not least is the mid-quartile, or sometimes referred to as the mid-quartile range, which is actually more of a measure of center than a measure of dispersion. Um, that is adding the two, and basically the average of the two quartiles, or actually the first and the third. So again, we can do transform compute, but you can actually also use this button, which shows you the previously used commands, and then compute a variable, and let's call this mid-quartile, sometimes referred to as mid-quartile range. It's the same expression, but now instead of a minus, we do a plus, and we get our mid-quartile range. All right. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.